Hi, this week I want to talk about the final stage of finishing up a large project that you've been working on. So in my case that's the PhD. So I only have six months left and I kind of want to take you guys along in this journey of finishing up my PhD. So all the tips that I learned along the way and new techniques, I kind of want to give them to you such that if you're in a process of finishing up a thesis for a PhD, a master's or a bachelor's, I think this could really benefit you. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, I want to focus on some personal tips that I've kind of learned over the last couple of weeks and the first one that really helped me get back on track is to have a minimal viable goal that you work on every day. So for me that's to write up 500 words which is about one page I would say and I noticed that this really helped me get back on track because if I put a really large goal like for example finish five pages in one day I noticed that a lot of days I don't tend to work as well and I tend to put off working on on these things whereas if you have a tiny goal that you finish every day you kind of keep the momentum over a couple of days which will help in the end in finishing your thesis and I usually put them in a daily um, word tracker in Notion so I put it here and I'm making a Notion page also for the word tracker and in general for PhD things that I've been using over the last couple of years so if you want that I will put it down below in the link to my newsletter at a certain point. So one other thing I kind of noticed is to avoid taking full days off in the weekend. Although I do usually recommend this for PhD students that are at the beginning or master students to have a couple of days off in a month that you fully take off. But I think now I kind of noticed that I like to keep the momentum. So if every day I just do a little bit in the morning, so still write 500 words in the weekend, I noticed that I keep the momentum on Monday. Whereas if I take the complete day off, I kind of forget the thread I was working on. So try to experiment with that and see what works for you. Another crucial thing that I learned and this was really from my professor is to let go of some of the projects you're working on. So right now we're finishing up the fourth project and then we're probably gonna write a little commentary for the final chapter of the thesis. But of course there are many other side projects that my professor and I are still working on and I would love to keep continuing working on them and right now I feel a really the intense need to procrastinate on these projects but doing this will really block your way of finishing your thesis because in the end you'll be working on all these side projects and you won't be writing up all the work you have done. So I put all the side projects I had in a little file in Notion such that if I ever want to get back to them after I've written up the thesis and there's still a couple of months maybe in my PhD then I can get back to them but right now I'm trying to put it off and not work on them anymore. Then I want to dive a little bit into the planning strategy so we had this course on the art of finishing up your PhD. For the planning strategy what we really learned is to work backwards from your final end submission date. So for me my final submission date will be the 1st of September probably because that's when my contract finishes but we're aiming to submit it before summer because I already know that the calendars of my supervisors will be really full during summer so they probably won't have time to look at it during summer. So try to establish when you have to finish your project or your thesis and work backwards from there. Once you have your final end goal think of the couple of months so in my case like four or five months and make a visual outline of all the projects and all the side things that you still have to finish within those last months. And then what I would do is to make a list and categorize them into must do, could do and don't really have to do and really try to remove the don't really have to do and could do's. These kind of side commitments can take a lot of time and in the last six months you really want to focus on writing as much as possible. So for example try to remove some of the presentations you're giving or maybe if you are taking on a new teaching commitment try to remove all of this. And then what we did is we created this visual overview of all the projects in this three month timeline and I kind of tried to visualize when I would approximately finish all the subtexts tasks that need to be finished for the PhD. So now you have your three month schedule and you kind of have the daily things you want to do but I would also try to think about how your ideal week looks like. So we worked on this tip during the course and I personally really like it so you kind of have a blank space of your week then you first fill in all the commitments that you definitely have to attend. So for example for me these are the lab meetings I have to give some presentations that I cannot remove and some teaching commitments so you fill those in first then what I would do is to block out your rest days so I definitely would pick out an afternoon or a few evenings that you definitely don't do anything or stressful or that 
takes a lot of time because as at least as a PhD student for me I tend to forget planning these days so that's the second thing that I would do and then afterwards I would fill in everything that I need to to get to these three months so for example I would need to write 500 words every day to finish on time maybe make a figure every day and for example have some coding time in the afternoon so I fill those in as well and then also all your side commitments so for me that's YouTube to finish YouTube things on time I'm also working for a couple of outreach things in the Netherlands so I also put those in and then kind of see what your week looks like and if you have to scrap some things and I think by looking at this ideal week you can really see if what you have planned is actually feasible because a lot of times it's not really feasible and we're not super aware of this so yeah these are the couple of things that I've learned over the last couple of weeks to finish up my PhD if you have any tips on how you are finishing up your master's thesis or your PhD or another big project I would love to know so put it in the comments down below and otherwise see you next week bye